Hello, I'm Tam, the Tam BOTC channel. Oh, I don't have the DLC on the, this console. Uh, and we are playing Alien Isolation. Uh, for a dedication video to Ian Holm. Uh, he played Ash from, um, the, uh, Alien movie, the first Alien movie. And he also plays Bilbo Baggins. He plays in a lot of films, and one that I saw recently and was going to review, because I saw it so recent, uh, was Fifth Element. Um, I, I liked the movie. It was enjoyable. Not all the jokes hit with me because I didn't understand all of them, but there was so, some good humor in there that I liked. And I love the performances and stuff. It's probably the only Mila Jovovich movie I'm going to like. <laughs> Thanks to stuff like Hellboy and the later Resident Evils. So, hop into this, start the game. I haven't played on... Uh, I don't, why would I have head tracking on? Why would I have that on? You're crazy! Okay. Um, I've, I only have like one last uh, achievement to go on my Xbox for this game. And I this was one of the... Not the first, but it was one of the first games I did a let's play of. So this is in dedication to Ian Holm. I know it's not a whole lot, uh, but uh, I was, I'm a big fan of Ian Holm's work. Uh, he's got quite the filmography. But yeah, his, my most favorite movies with him. And now I guess I put Fifth Element in with uh, movies that I've seen that I love him in. I thought the acting was great in that too. Uh, can we skip this just so we can, I know it's Sigourney Weaver's voice, but we're here for Ian Holm, even though he's not in this. I don't even think he voices his own character in the the uh, DLC, which is a shame. Um, but it's Alien. It's in the Alien universe. The same... And it does have his character, technically, even if it's not voiced by him. But it's stinking sad when I heard about him passing away. I think it was yesterday. But I just heard about it today. So... I'm also back. I was trying to put up a Sonic video. But, um, for some reason it's having a problem going up, which kind of sucks. I do have good news, though, and hopefully future good news as well. Let's close over all of these. Um, this game's so good. Uh, and the future good news is I have a Nintendo Switch. It's coming in Thursday, so, uh, I bought, like, a bundle version. It comes with Breath of, Breath of the Wild. Um... Uh, Minecraft and I'm trying to remember what the other one was. Oh, uh, Animal Crossing, which I'm very happy about because I really wanted to play Animal Crossing. I'm a big fan of Animal Crossing. Oh, but this is about Samuels. stinking. Hey, you're Did not you the same well? Android as stinking well, really Ian Holm. The the crud. I was just but I stink and love his Bilbo Baggins. Well it's probably one of his most memorable roles for me. Besides Ash, yes. but he's got a lot of really more serious, awesome movies too that he's like played in the past. He's been on a lot. Though I'm, I'm not good with naming all of his movies. If I'm being honest, like the biggest ones that I named are stuff like he has been the Hobbit movies. Even though I'm not a big fan of those, I do love Lord of the Rings absolutely, and he's in those. And I love Alien, and he's in that. <laughs> I think I have a collector's edition version of both Alien and Aliens. I'm a big fan of both of them. Uh, Alien was probably my first horror movie. And it was actually the first movie my grandmother watched on uh, VCR when she got her first VCR uh, player. That was the first movie she popped in. And she had like all her friends come over to watch it. She told me the stories about uh, when she got Warner. her first Ripley, VCR. Ripley, it's not good. I very much doubt it's morning. Either. Just that kind of twist Sorry. of finding out Ian Holmes' character is a I robot, like and he's been playing this whole, them this whole time. Regularly. Plays an excellent character to. with some do excellent, do memorable often. lines. Most legal execs don't travel further than the coffee machine. Shut up. I'm surprised Raylan Utani um, felt the need to send legal at all. Lines the like... And its cargo cost the company a lot of money. Gonna, it's important we find out... I'm very mad. Stop it. Stop talking. Stop. 
sword. Stop. To look great with my Stop. Superiors. Stop. I'm sorry. That was insensitive. No, you're not. You lied. Realize you're your never sorry. For 15 years and you. And then there's stuff in it's here. Okay. Gotta we'll both get what we steal want, it right? all. No. Um. Have you seen Samuel's? Hmm. He's probably been up for hours. Cornflakes. You should probably get your Cornflakes. Cornflakes. I'm just kind of padding out while they they won't shut up. Okay, there we go. Um. Back to Ian home. <laughs> Gosh darn, that was sticking annoying. Um, and loud. I hope the, uh, speaking of which, I hope the audio is fine for you guys. Oh no, I'm not playing music, forget that. Who knows if I'm going to get copyrighted. Oh, there's one of these things. Um, I think they're, oh, thank you, Trophy. Um, the, his second line of, uh, the perfect, uh oh, there's this, my PS4. It has this weird beeping problem with the disc tray, it's stupid. Um, but only sometimes it's like that. But sometimes it can go super chaotic and just constantly beep, which I'm afraid it'll try and do. So you guys might hear it do that if it decides to. Other times it won't even do it at all and it'll be perfectly fine, which is weird. <laughs> but I like that better than uh, it beeping constantly. Uh, the, his, his stinking line, the perfect organism, unclouded by judgment, and sense of immorality. And I can't lie about, I can't lie to you about your chances, but you have my sympathies. <laughs> I love, uh, I love those lines. Absolutely brilliant. What is this area? Oh, am I still naked? Yep. So I talked to everybody naked. <laughs> <laughs> I'm an idiot. I guess nobody apparently noticed then. Because they didn't stinking uh, question me about it. I love the old timey, like, 80s perspective of technology in this uh, game. It's really cool. Um, where is it? Where is the... Is this my personal... There we go. Okay, now I'm dressed. I didn't notice I was naked, though. <laughs> I forgot all about that. Let's save real quick. All personnel the to the little bridge. Approaching Sebastopol Station. I might not play too long of this, because this is just meant to be, like, a dedication video. Talking about Ian Holm. A couple other things probably gonna go on or be talked about in the video. But mostly the Ian Holm. Because, man, does that suck, this thinking find out that he passed away recently. Uh, just like, he's been in some of my favorite movies of all time. Like, literally the movies that he's in, are, and his roles, are like my f some of my favorites of all time. It just like, really hits me at home. I, d I didn't really personally know the guy, of course, so... Um, condolences to the family, whoever, uh, his friends and everything. I hope they're doing okay. And they can get through uh, finding something that can get over the grief or whatever they're dealing with. Hope you yeah, it's, it's like a, very good we can always look back at his work. She was okay, you know what, shut up. <laughs> we can always look back at his work and what he's done. We have him um, in movies and stuff. I always think to myself, I don't have any kind of like video that I own. I just have photographs uh, with my grandmother to kind of remember her by. And I think like you have Ian Holm in just like these big blockbuster movies and we can see his his talent. You've got interviews and all this stuff and it's like there's tons of stuff that will we will never like let go of their memories. I've always wanted, I bet my mom has some videos but uh, or voice clips. I would always love to hear my grandmother's voice again, but I never get to. Just my entire family situation that's hap blown over and happened after all that. So it's been hard to even Back talk to anybody. But getting personal stuff out of the way, um, it's great to know that there's tons of stuff. <sighs> I still have to pause because they're so gosh darn loud. Um, 
And I hope the volume of the game, let me actually check that, let me like, uh, change the audio, balance out the audio. Like, would it be good if it's here? Let's see. Okay, that, that sounds a little better. I'm sorry if it was really loud before. I hope I'm loud enough. I'm not, I'm not certain, but I'll just pause it anyways because I think it's gonna get super noisy in just a couple seconds when they enter the ship, but, um, it's just good to know we can go back and watch movies. I feel like watching Lord of the Rings and Aliens, yeah, <laughs> the Alien movies, um, which is just, like, fantastic that we can look back on his, uh, career, his acting career, and it, it, it just happens to be a, a, a coincidence that one of the movies I've wanted to see but haven't seen ever was Fifth Element and it has Ian Holm in it and I finally got to see it and I like it um I wouldn't say it's the best movie of his like once again seeing Alien and Ta the Lord of the Rings come to mind um because they're just such iconic memorable roles of his it's kind of like when you see Ian McKellen you can only really see him as like Gandalf or maybe Magneto or something like that. He's like so definitive in those roles. But still really like Ian Holmes got some excellent uh, movies outside of even the ones I've mentioned. Uh, I think Joe Blow, I can't remember the name of the channel, it's weird. Yeah, you hear that beeping, that's the PS4. But um he made a dedication video that will show you more of the movies uh, that he's been in. The more serious movies or funny movies, whatever they may be. But, yeah, take a look at that video. I definitely recommend it. And any other, like, lighthearted, upbeat, uh, or just memorable videos that recap the kind of history of, uh, of our man Ian Holt. Let's get back to the game for now. All hail Ian home. I mean, uh. You can watch the approach on the monitors. Okay, I don't push me. Ian home wouldn't push me. <laughs> Thank you. We're skipping. <laughs> skipping it every last bit my hand hurts by the way so or, yeah my wrist so I I gotta be a little careful with it um I haven't been around in a bit too because I haven't I've been having some chest pain and such and we were worried recently about a certain situation but it seems everything's fine I had some doctor's uh, appointments and such talk to some doctors and everything's fine i'm also on a diet right now so that's good i've been eating some salad and stuff stuff that i find more healthier for myself though a friend of mine did give me a stand pack of um, chips and I'm just like nah. i might wait a while to even touch those though so there's that okay what the credit but I'm feeling fine now. I'm glad that I'm feeling much better now. And we're trying to s keep as safe and healthy as possible. Uh, I definitely recommend the same to you. Why is our suits yellow and they're white? With a crud. Huh. Beautiful. I love the, the graphics are still good. And I think it's the lighting that really helps this game. Like, look at her hand. And when you see the cutscenes, you can see, like, all their pores and, um, the sweat on their faces. It looks really good. Even though everybody in this game apparently sweats. It's, like, crazy. Smoke effects are really good in this game, too. I think that looks really good. Like, the dust and such. I hit a light. Ow, my head, I hit a light. Ow, my head, I'm totally not doing that on purpose to be a jerk to Amanda Ripley. What? <laughs> That's 
said nothing. Oh, I can't jump in here, so I can't hit that light. I'll just make sure to hit whatever else there is in here. With my hand. Headbutt it. <laughs> Calm down, Amanda. Flare. Alright. Let's go to this little computer. Sylvester Link. Mm -hmm. I already saw this in my videos, I believe. As well as if you played the game, I'd still recommend it. It's amazing. It's really cheap right now, by the way, so go we'll find it. Ah! <laughs> By the way, uh, another good news for the channel, there will be some other Let's Plays coming up. Um, games I've wanted to do for a long time, especially to catch up with uh, a certain game coming out. They are Resident Evil related. So that'll be cool. Resident Evil, I'll talk about the stuff that was at PlayStation 5's event in a separate video, by the way. Uh, if you guys would like to see that. I'll probably do it anyways because I want to just get my kind of point of view on that anyway um yeah i'm looking i'm looking forward to a uh, certain game coming out totally not resident evil oh crash 4 was sticking shown too that's sticking awesome i noticed it was 60 bucks for one game i wonder if it's really a really large game compared to the trilogy because i think the trilogy is cheaper and it has a lot of content, so this one better have more content than that game. Even though it is a remaster. But, there could be some problems that arrive that people might have, I don't know. But I really liked the art style of it, I thought it looked really cool. Um, it was like eye candy, very colorful and vibrant, nice to look at. Tomorrow together. Tomorrow. T tomorrow together, no future. What? Or no help. As that red writing over it says. Help. It says this. This is that light or life. This. Is life for for rent? <laughs> what? Okay, we got uh, keep out or pay. No, trust no one. No, oh, okay. Hey, that's not very nice. Those letters are mean. Uh, there's no CK. <laughs> Dee -dee. Whoops. Is there like a save point? Like at the start of games, there's so many save points. I'll save it item anyway, but whatever. Wait, I should have saved after I was going to get done with this. Yep. So I'll have a couple other videos. One of them might, uh, I'm hoping, like, I, I wasn't going to do a video like this until now when everything was set and done. Let me just take this. Um, because there's been a lot of abuse of copyright claims around a certain, uh, thing, let's say, and I was waiting to see it in full action, I've been watching, I've been watching other videos and keeping up with information and news on it, on the situation of this, uh, this product, we could say, and I'll give my own opinion on it, I've been hearing that it's, they're refusing refunds for this, uh, this, uh, product, as well as they've been praising it having a making a ton of money even though trash and crap has made money a uh, lots of money before just ask transformers you know who i'm talking about you know who i'm talking about it came out very recently and it has some very iconic awesome characters that are being spat on like 
physically, literally, and every all they be on. <laughs> Alright, let's go to the computer here. I forgot about this. But we'll talk about that in another video. Zero, three, four, oh. Remember that, guys. So the games that I will be playing for the channel, there are several games. Oh, there's some people. No! Damn it. Um, I've been playing mostly on Xbox uh, lately. If you guys actually, like, if you ca ever care to interact with me, um, I have listed some places on my channel as like Facebook and such but um I think the places what was I thinking zero three zero three four zero there we go um thank you um but uh if you want to catch me on other Oh my goodness, somebody's on their lawn. Let me close the window real quick. So that's not loud. I hope my microphone is good too. I got a new headset. I was kind of waiting too until I got a new headset. So I wasn't like sticking sick three weeks. It was more like I had to get a new headset. And I needed to be able to have a good time for that. Good timing. Um... So I finally got one, and I'm hoping it's it's good. I hope you can hear me fine. Now things come in fine. Um, I hope it doesn't pick up stuff like me breathing into it or licking my lips or something. <laughs> uh, and I, my the reason I said that is my lips felt very dry, so I kind of just licked them. <laughs> Unless I do it, like, on purpose, just to get in for the sound effects. <laughs> um, but yeah, I've had microphones that, for some reason, pick that stuff up. Okay, no, we're not having any of that. <laughs> um, wait a minute, didn't I just come from down there? Yeah, I came from down there. Uh, let's go... Somewhere. Why is that on if I can't use it? Alright, so I think everything is up and ready. Is the store open now? Yes, it is. There we go. Let's get it going. I'm gonna have to crouch under this. We don't wanna get sh electrocuted or anything. Well, there's that tomorrow together in the no future thing again. There's something on this chair. Thank you. Plastic cap, collect scrap. Alright. So I watched a bunch of other movies too that I want to review. So now that I got Fifth Element kind of out of the way, if I rate Fifth Element, it's probably like a seven or something out of ten for me. But yeah, I can see why people like it. I'm not gonna doubt that. Even if it's like your favorite movie of all time, it's like it's a pretty cool movie. I'd watch it again. There were a bunch of movies I haven't watched recently. I'm going to do more videos that are similar to the ones I've been doing recently. Like the... You remember the games... Uh, bad games that I like. I'm going to do the same thing with movies and TV shows, possibly. I can't think of any TV shows, though, that are bad, but I like... Actually, you know what? There might be a few. Yeah, I think there's a few. I'll, I'll see what I come up with when I'm talking about it. As well as, like... You getting to know me more and knowing like my taste and stuff uh, if you want to interact with me once again coming back to that, is that ship um, you can go to PlayStation I am Tambio TC spelled exactly the same way there and yeah, they can't hear you um, but if you find my channel spelled exactly the same my like gamer Gamertag or PSN account, then that's me. You 
confront me or interact with me, let me know that this... Also, let me know if that's, like, the way you, uh, knew where to find me. Because <laughs> I've had, like, people that just kind of, like, randomly friend me and stuff, or say, wanna be friends? Kind of like it's a weird situation. It's like, um... This is, uh, very out of nowhere. Like, usually when I make a friend somewhere, I'm fine. If you're... I'm fine with any situation, as long as it's not, uh, too out there. <laughs> um, but, uh, it's, like, mostly how you would make friends is, like, kind of the more natural way, where you kind of run into somebody online, or on the, uh, on the street, you chat with somebody, or you interact with somebody... Uh, find a common ground with them or something. I don't know. Whatever natural way and like how many times you've interacted with that person too. That's just kind of my perspective on that. Shut the heck up. <laughs> so the alien won't be coming until later in this game because that's usually how it is. Okay. So we won't see uh big penis head. <laughs> what am I supposed to say? That's what his head looks like. <laughs> okay, now. Um, what's this? Oh, oh gosh, it's actually poorly textured. Nobody saw that, right? <laughs> Alright. Um, do I have a flashlight? That nah, doesn't matter. The lighting will guide the way. Oh, I just got... I'm hoping to get it up. Uh, I think I said this... Uh, the Sonic video I was making... Whoops. Um, I was going to... I just got the collector's edition to the Sonic movie. I watched that movie in theaters before the pandemic went down. Um, ten times. I went to the theater ten times. I wanted to help the movie out as much as I could. And I really enjoyed it, even, like, no matter how many times. I know it'll probably get a little stale after it. And probably faster for other people, but I actually enjoy it, like, pretty much every time. And I find a lot of the quotes and humor very memorable to me. And even if the CGI isn't good, as, like, say, Nostalgia Critic is saying, I just like how it looks. I think, also, it's very endearing. Um, the problem with something like Hop that I think separates itself from this movie, even though they're very similar in their premise and such, is just like how endearing how certain things are executed better about the characters and the humor. I also think the actors that are picked for the roles are... Whoa. I remember the guy runs across there and he makes a loud sound, but like I didn't think he was going to do it when I looked back that way. Um, so that kind of got a little jump out of me. Um, or caught me off guard a little bit. But, uh, yeah, I think it's just executed better, and there's just a lot more positive I can find of it than negative. So I'm glad to get back to this kind of stuff. And, uh, I hope to do more. Uh, it's the same thing. I watched a video, um, or not really watched. I kind of, like, stopped because I was, my brain turned off and had a farting moment <laughs> when uh, watching it. It was really... It was just getting to the point where it's like, okay, I can't, I can't really listen to any more of this. It's just getting dumb and boring. <laughs> but that's just me. That doesn't mean somebody else won't get anything out of it, and or it's just a bad video. I think the approach at the beginning of the video and such is not very good. It's, it's, it's got a bad attitude. It's just not the personality of the person is very nasty. Um, came across the wrong way. You can, and the things, uh, you can still be kind of cynical and stuff without being too nasty and such. Uh, take, for example, Angry Joe, and, um, maybe even Rageaholic. Uh, and you get something, uh, you can at least understand where they're coming from to an extent. But, um... This I just couldn't. There, I, I did a video on Beastars recently. I was thinking of this. There was a guy who did a video called, like, it was, he, he knew it was, like, a clickbait title. It was, like, Beastars is Twilight or something. And I'm not going to deny that there are similarities to it, 
but I don't entirely agree for several reasons. Um, first off, there's still more B-stars, even more so than what uh, Twilight has to go, and it does uh, alter its path and course and changes up over time. Uh, I also like the whole argument of it being for a furry audience, <laughs> uh, which he brought up. Um, I don't, I don't agree with that. There's many things that can have different audiences. Just think back to the day of uh, the Walt Disney Robin Hood movie. That movie came out before stuff like um, uh, the term furry or whatever was even used. So what about stuff like that? And there's like Star Fox and Sonic. I don't. Well, I think Sonic might have been the reason stuff like that became a big deal. I don't think it's really the creator of it. Not until like or the big influence until later, like maybe three games in or so. I don't know. I don't know how it started to be honest. <laughs> Somebody liked characters that were furry, wanted to be like them, and there you go. <laughs> I don't know. Um, you have choices in your life, you do whatever you want, just like I do whatever I want. I enjoy B-Stars because the, uh, the things, once again, it's the same situation. I think, even if it's so similar to Twilight, I think everything it does, similar to Twilight, is just executed better. It's kind of like they took Twilight and said, oh, let's do this better than Twilight did. Like, the character development, the storytelling, I just think they did all of it far better than Twilight. Uh, it came across more relatable, more believable, even in this uh, universe, and it's just very interesting to learn about the world. What the crud am I looking for? <laughs> I've just been splogging around here, like, huh? <laughs> um, but yeah, there's, I think there's something back this way, actually. Let's go. Um, but yeah, there's a... I, I think it can not only attract multiple audiences, it's just attracted me to stinkin' get into it. I have a friend who uh, honestly doesn't doesn't really care about that kind of stuff. And you probably know what I mean, but um, he doesn't mean anything rude or mean by it. Uh, but yeah, stinkin', uh, he, even he was like, that's actually pretty good. He like watched, uh, I think the first couple episodes or something. I can't remember. It's been a while. But, um, I actually watched Beastars three to four times to really, just, like, kind of dig deep into everything that's going on. And I, there's actually a scene in it that I like better than the scene everybody's saying is the best scene in Beastars. Um, spoilers, so in Beastars, um, there's a scene with, um, this, this female wolf character. I can't remember her name. I can't believe I forgot her name either. <laughs> uh, but there's also a Haru, and there's, like, this funny, like, her chasing her scene because of, like, jealousy and the confrontation between them. Um, that scene's apparently known as, like, one of the most popular scenes. There's a scene that I think is better, just my personal opinion once again, and that's the the shifting scene of seeing Legoshi or Lugosi, because he was kind of based on uh, Bella Lugosi, um, influenced by that. But um, uh, I love the shift of him and Louis, where you see their true colors. You see Louis act more like a predator, and Lugosi more like a prey. And it's very interesting how it changed up. So. That's all I have to say. This video has probably gone on too long, but I do think just him, the guy in the video, saying stuff like, I don't care if you comment or you dislike this video or watch it or don't watch it or whatever, um, he wins. And I don't think that's a very good attitude to have. Um, I mean, to an extent, but at the same time, you're kind of turning people off from watching more of your stuff. So... That doesn't mean future content of your stuff won't have, like, less views than that. Of course, it's going to have a... Unless you do more clickbait, then it just kind of says that uh, you can't make a, a a video without needing... That's going to be popular on its own without needing some clickbait uh, title. And I'm not saying that I don't have my own share of clickbait titles. Um, but I hate clickbait titles to begin with. 
so I'm, I just don't like that stuff, but I can't say that I haven't done that either, so. We're not perfect, we're all human, and the same with that, like, he has his opinion, I have mine. They're completely different, they're completely uh, valid in their own parts, their own paths, and so on. And if you have an opinion to share too, go ahead. I just thought that was kind of not the right way to go about that, and it was an interesting thing to kind of bring up, at least in my personal feelings. But, I don't know, maybe maybe it's different to, to you. Or is. <laughs> so, this is a, uh, just, that's about it. I don't know why I brought that in a de dedication video of Ian Home. <laughs> this is not really the right time, but, I mean, this video is not entirely Ian Home. It's like, Ian Home and, like, this, of course, this video is probably clickbait because it's called a dedication to Ian Home, but, it's not meant to be rude in any way, and it is kind of a, uh, goes into Ian Holm, uh, just a little bit, human, not a whole lot. So, I hope you guys enjoyed. Remember to like, share, and subscribe, leave your comments below, and I'll see you guys on the next video. And, bye!